and take a look at weather. And as expected, a cold front came through today and made a pretty significant impact on the look and feel of things. Let me prove it to you. This is Cuesta Peak up at 2,470 feet. Yeah, we were in the clouds, even a few showers here and there. Lompoc saw five hundredths in rain. Most of the area saw a hundredth here and there and trace amounts. But generally, the big story was the cool down and the cloud cover. This is radar. You can see that frontal boundary moving through the area. In fact, it's on top of us right now, but not pr proving a lot. In fact, in terms of what we can see on the radar, that is how light this stuff is. Upper 40s and low 50s for the interior, low to mid 50s for most of the rest of the area. Pass Robles right now, 57 degrees. There's a bit of breeze through the Gaviota Pass area. You can see that area lit up in green there. Some local wind gusts past 20 miles per hour, but generally the winds are not powerful. No advisories right now with more clouds streaming overhead. So what will that mean for your weekend? Locally, temperature is going to be hugging that upper 50s, low 60 area through the whole weekend. Cloud sun mix for the beaches, coastal valleys, inland temperatures, 50s on Saturday and low to mid 60s on Sunday. There is a little bit of a warming trend that begins as we get into Sunday and Monday. To upper 60s. San Francisco going to be right around 57 degrees this weekend. San Diego temperatures low 60s, warming into the mid to upper 60s by Sunday. Sacramento, middle 50s. Fresno temperatures, mid 50s, warming to near 60. And Bakersfield, pretty much the same scenario there with plenty of cloud cover in the San Joaquin. Take a look at this on the microclimate forecast model. You can see some showers, upslope showers right around the Tehachapi's and the I 5 corridor, and then just some low clouds there. So if your travels take you through the great Grapevine, you might run into some locally low visibilities. But other than that, with the offshore flow sitting up on Saturday, we'll ultimately see some sunshine. But post cold front, it's not going to do a whole lot. Stronger south winds offshore are going to start pumping up before a system moving in on Monday. But here's the thing with that Monday system. I want to show that to you. Big ridge of high pressure precedes it. The offshore flow precedes it. So when this area of low pressure starts moving in on Monday, it's fighting all of that dry air that we'll have set up. So maybe a few sprinkles here and there, not unlike today's system, better opportunity across Southern California. Then the deep extended forecast is drier than average and warmer than average, really only looking at minor shower opportunities here and there, nothing significant in our feast or famine winter forecast just kind of continues. Upper 50s and low 60s for the central coast and south coast. I think the coolest temperatures in the deep interior valleys and along the north coast where we're going to see, again, some lingering marine influence. But I do like some sunshine by tomorrow afternoon. Again, the cooler spots, Shandon, California Valley, uh, Cuyama Valley, probably on the cooler side, only lower 50s. They're expected for the daytime high. There's the extended forecast. You see how those temperatures really start pumping up to near 70 on Tuesday and Wednesday again. But the forecast again, which is really interesting, is starting to look dry in the longer run. More details on my social media. And we're back right after this.